A very good evening to you. Welcome to the RSPCA. Just a couple of weeks before the Million Paws Walk, so you should think about getting your registrations in for that, and we'll give you those details shortly. But this is Barry. He is a gorgeous Staffy Cross, and he is the dog that we're trying to find a home for for this evening. Quite a mature dog. Uh, but we'll move into the temperatures, and as you can see, it wasn't particularly warm around Perth today. The maximum only got to 19.5 degrees. That was at a quarter past three. The overnight minimum was 10.1, and that was recorded at 6 minutes to 7 this morning. At the moment, it's 16.3. The winds are southwesterly at 9 kilometres an hour. The barometer, 1,016.4 hectopascals, and the relative humidity, 62%. Around the area this morning, it was pretty cool. Dropped to 8 degrees at Bickley and Northam. Uh, closer in, 8 degrees at Jandicott this morning. 8 also at Jarrahdale. And 15 was the lowest maximum. That was recorded at Bickley. And the highest maximum in our area was 20. Then and that was up to the north at Lancelin. For the state, 38.2 at Columbaroo in the north Kimberley, the highest. 15 was the lowest, along with Bickley, it was recorded at Shannon and Wandering, and the lowest last night was four, and that was recorded at Narragin and at Norseman. Now, Barry, as I've mentioned, is a mature dog. He's a little over seven years of age, and he's been at the RSPCA for some time. We took him for a run a little earlier, and as you will see, he loves a bit of exercise. He's also a dog that's very good one-on-one. -on -one. He's pretty chilled in those circumstances, but he is also quite well behaved with other companion dogs. Uh, so if you've got dogs already, he's worth investigating. Uh, because he's a mature dog, dog training has been included in his adoption price. And uh, if you're interested and you've got a family, probably looking at a family with children 14 years or more. Now, on to the Million Paws Walk, which is coming up on the 15th of May. It's a great event, and this year is the 20th anniversary of the Million Paws Walk. It's going to be held at Sir James Mitchell Park in South Perth. Already around 4,000 people have been registered, and it usually draws a gathering of around 10,000. So if you're interested and you'd like to go for a walk, they have very distance walks uh, for the uh, event, uh, go to the website millionpawswalk.com.au. On to our series of satellite photographs and you will notice that we've got a lot of cloud over northern and central parts of Western Australia. We've got another cold front that's going to move up tomorrow and with that there is a severe weather warning out for the southwest district, the southern coastal district and adjoining parts of the Great Southern. Today 1.4 millimetres at Bunbury and there were a few falls of 4 millimetres around the southwest corner. Overnight one of the better falls was 22 millimetres at Denmark. The chart is showing the front move Moving through tomorrow and the Bureau has issued a gale warning for coastal areas from Cape Naturalist around to Israelite Bay. Strong wind warnings extend north to Dawesville and east to Eucla. As far as rainfall is concerned, there will be a period of scattered showers through the southwest land division once again tomorrow. They may not reach the far northern and eastern parts of the wheat belt. Uh, there's also going to be some thunderstorm activity near the south coast, but most of that would be to the west of Hopeton. And there's also likely to be some isolated shower and thunderstorms in the southern parts of the interior and the northeast of the Gascoigne. And over coming days, we'll see another weak front move through on Friday, and on Saturday, it should start clearing up for Perth. The national forecasts, they're likely to get a little bit of shower activity in Cairns and in Brisbane, chance of a shower or two in Adelaide, Melbourne and Hobart, and the other cities should be fine. Westerlies on local waters will be around 10 knots, increasing to 15 to 25 knots around sunrise, and then southwesterly at 15 to 20 knots early in the afternoon. Uh, swell to 2 metres and the seas between 1 and 2 metres. Low tides 1.1 metres around midday and the high tide 0.7 of a metre at 4 minutes to 11 tomorrow night. Forecast for Perth, 80% chance of picking up some showers tomorrow, 1 to 2 millimetres. There will be a moderate to fresh west to south westerly change, minimum of 10 and a top tomorrow of 21. On Friday, possible shower and 21 degrees, clearing up fairly early on Saturday, a top of 20 degrees. Sunday should be partly cloudy, around 20 degrees. And on Monday, they're looking like they're going to roll in another shower or two with a top of 22. So that's the weather from the RSPCA. <laughs> There's something very interesting happening up there. I'll see you later. Good night.